Alex Perbet, let's begin with you. Why should the United States approve and build this pipeline? You know, I think it, it really comes down to a, a number of issues. And if you, if you think about it right now, the U.S. Uh, consumes about 50 million barrels of oil a day. They, uh, they produce about 4 million barrels a day. So the U.S. on a daily basis is importing about 11 million barrels of oil per day. And I think it comes down to, uh, it, and uh, most of the forecasts that, that are out there, including the forecast from your federal government, would expect that that oil demand in the U.S. would likely remain stable for many years to come. So we're, we're at the point where it is, uh, it is very apparent that the U.S. is going to need to continue to import oil for a number of decades. And really, we're now down to the question of where do you want that oil to come from? Canada is already the largest uh, uh, importer of oil to the U.S. Um, and we, are, we would expect the oil sands, uh, with growth of production from the oil sands, we have the ability to add significantly more imports to the U.S. So it's a question of energy security. Uh, if you take a look at the other countries that import oil to the U.S., uh, they are largely countries uh, that, that in many cases do not share the values of Americans in, in certain cases are uh, actively against a lot of those values. And to suggest that those other countries are more responsible environmental citizens than Canada uh, really begs comprehension to me. Canada has proven itself to be a very good steward of the environment. We have uh, excellent, transparent environmental rules for the development of our resources. And I think when you get down to the point of where do you want to get your oil from, it is far more compelling to be getting your oil needs from Canada rather than getting it from other countries such as Libya, Nigeria, or Venezuela.